I'm Margaret. Welcome to Rear Facing Toddlers. In this video I'm going to show you how to install the Joy Stages car seat rear facing in the car. All car seats that can face forward as well as rear have indicators on the side in red and blue. Red is for forward facing only and blue is for rear facing. Now on the side of this car seat there is a white triangle and four numbers. One, two and three are red and blue is four and you need to line that white triangle up with the blue four for rear facing. So there is a lever underneath the seat here, squeeze that lever and then you can swivel the seat within its base to line the white arrow up with the blue four and now the seat is ready for rear facing. The Joy Stages is a rear facing car seat that is suitable from birth to 18 kilos which is approximately four years. When you're using it for a newborn up to about roughly six to nine months old you need to use this newborn insert. Before you install the seat in the car, the insert has to be removed because the seat belt has to go underneath it. Remove the insert by first of all loosening the harness, undoing the buckle, you then remove the pad from behind the buckle and you remove the headrest and then the body insert. Now the seat is ready to be installed in the car. Position the stages in the car with the base flat on the seat of the car. So down here it all has to be flush with the seat without any gaps. You then take the seat belt, pass the seat belt through the gap in the side of the seat on both sides, make sure the harness is open and out of the way and then you buckle the seat belt in, into the buckle. Then the easiest thing I find is to put my left foot in the footwell and push the seat with my left knee. Pull the belt really tight and wrap it around the back. However, in some cars, the seat belt isn't quite long enough. So after you've buckled in, you then try to wrap the seat belt around the back of the seat and it doesn't fit. Now, if you find that this is the case in your car, there's an easy solution. All you need to do is unbuckle, and that will give you enough length to wrap the belt around the back of the car seat, put it in through the guides, then you need to climb into the car, and just grab the buckle, and then when you're standing in the car behind the seat, unbuckling it first and wrapping it around the back has now given you enough length to just reach that belt. keep the joy stages tight in the car and give it a little bit more stability, it comes with a little blue clip that's located here in a mesh bag on the back of the seat. So you need to take the clip out of the bag, undo the string, you then have to open the clip and wrap it around the diagonal belt only. Lock it until it clicks and then push the seat with all your weight and slide that blue clip along the belt as far as you can down to the buckle. On the back of the stages there are four guides with blue seat belt symbols on them and you need to make sure that the diagonal belt is threaded diagonally from the buckle side down and then up along the back in the higher guide on the side of the door where the seat belt goes up. If you're using the joy stages for an older baby or a toddler and you don't need to use the newborn insert, at this point you need to refit the buckle pad. So you just there's a little bit of elastic inside the pad to hold it in place. You feed the buckle through the gap from the bottom up. Make sure that elastic band is wrapped around nice and snug underneath and that's the buckle pad in place. If you're using the joy stages for a newborn baby, you had to remove the newborn insert before you installed it so because the seat belt lies across the seat like this. But if you are using it for a small baby, now is the point where you need to put the insert back in. So you start by passing the buckle through the hole, get the harness, sit it on top, through the gaps at the side there, make sure it's not twisted. Same on this side. There you go, then we get the buckle pad don't know where that's gone, oh here, and the buckle pad then, just like I did a minute ago, goes on here, again feed that buckle through that gap, make sure the elastic strap is underneath the buckle so that the pad can't fall off, 
and and then the headrest goes around the shoulder straps not all stages it depends on how old they are have the same headrest some have it attached at the back with two little poppers some were attached in one piece and didn't come off at all this one has got a separate headrest that goes onto the shoulder straps like this so i'll just do the buckle up and pull it tight and there we go so that's the joy stages set up for a newborn And that's the joy stages installed rear facing in the car. Thank you very much for watching and please come back next time for more car seat videos and don't forget to subscribe.